feeling that I have now Almost a bit holy Notion that I will make it Make it out somehow Welcome back to Buckland Farm. This is episode ten. Um, as you might have seen in the in the little time lapse there, I've been doing a carrot harvesting contract. Um, and I think I've gone insane. This is the field. I just saw again. It's one of them. Looked in the contract list. 60 grand it was paying. I thought, yep, I'll do that. Accepted it and then looked at the field. And uh, yeah, it's a big one. So, uh, sorry, yeah, we've got this little bit left to do. Um, these two are full. So I've been, when I started it, just to get around the edges and get a bit of room, um, I was using, well, I'll start from the beginning. So the contract I took on was this one. The owner of the field, um, I haven't done any contracts for at the moment. So technically i couldn't lease the equipment or borrow the equipment via that comes with a contract so i turned that off in the contracts bet contracts menu so that i could do the contract because i wanted to wanted to do a bit of a different contract um and obviously if i'd have leased any sort of vegetable harvesting equipment it would have been tens of thousands and it wouldn't have been any point doing the contract so so I leased lease the equipment off the farmer which was this class with the two uh, uh, Rudolph traders and the vegetable harvester self-propelled harvester over there so I've had a nightmare um, I mean I've been doing this contract for about four or five days in real life on and off bits and pieces here and there um, and it's been a nightmare. You you just can't automate it because the harvester needs a trailer to, to empty into. Um, I've been using different bits and pieces. I've I've been using the Follow Me mod uh, for running a a trailer alongside the harvester, but that presents its own problems because when once you get to the end of a row, when it goes to turn. It wants to turn into the into the tractor that's following it so you just end up stopping and having to do it manually and then resetting it off and yeah you just can't leave it to do its own thing um the only bit you can do that with is to send the send the trailers off to the sell point so i was doing that just to give you an idea those two trailers there that's 37,000 litres. That's That was 2% of the contract delivered. So you can imagine how many times I've been to the sale point and back. Um, the other thing was I was getting worried at the end because, as you know, on the, on the better contracts menu, you can put the details on. So the contract is actually finished now. The last, the last load I delivered finished the contract um, with a, a couple of thousand litres left over, which we got paid for. So the contract is complete, but on this bit here, it still says there's 62,000 litres to be delivered. So when we got near the end of the uh, the contract, I was getting worried because the, the sell point is the garden centre, which if you remember a few episodes ago, that's where we had a bit of a problem. Um, so yeah but luckily 
it all completed and we've got 37,000 litres in these two trailers and on the fent there that's 38,200 and something litres plus what's left on the field over there so yeah got quite a lot left over which is what I was hoping for um, the only problem I've got now is I've got nowhere to put this but my plan if we go into the menu so my plan at the moment obviously we own we own all these blue bits the the bit over here there's a little little bit of grass by the biogas plant so if we just skip over to the biogas plant i will show you go into the construction menu so this bit over here we own this bit of land so my plan i've got the premium expansion Um, which one was it? Soup factory. So I'm going to place soup factory down here. Get some carrot soup running. And then in the future, if we do any, any other sort of harvests, any of the, the new crops with a premium expansion or potatoes, we can um we can get some soup being made but yeah with the carrots that are left over i think if we put them into this into this production um we're going to have a lot of soup being produced and that's obviously going to give us a lot more money than than the um than the carrots would do on their own so Try and find the cheapest place so that it's less um, less uh, less expense for landscaping. Right, I'm going to place it down there. Yeah, I'm going to going to need to do a little bit of um, a little bit of landscaping around there, but. So obviously that was 137,000. But we have got the 60,000 to collect on the contract once I've finished the harvest. And yeah, we we've, we've got other contracts we can carry on doing. So if we skip back to here, um what I'm going to do is get these two sent off and get them un get them unloaded get them back over and get the get the rest of the carrots off the field and then complete this contract um as i say at the beginning i was using two the the ford and the Renault of my own as well and doing it one trailer at a time because the garden center sell point is an absolute nightmare there's nowhere to turn around um so you've got to try and reverse all the trailers in there and yeah so I was using all four tractors, but then, as the time went on, um, I mean, when I say hours, it literally has taken me hours in real life. In game, I've had it as time set at uh, half half time, half speed, and it's it still took the rest of uh, November one and part of this morning, November two, to to get this done. So. Um, but I noticed that the, the vehicle leasing cost was a lot because obviously all of our kit is is leased and the amount of hours that were being put onto it I think I, I lost about 30 grand in vehicle costs alone plus another 10 possibly even more in worker fees so yeah unless you've got a lot of time to do everything yourself then sometimes they're not as as worth it as they seem but we've got a lot of carrots left over so we're going to make a 
quite a big profit on this, even though we've just spent about 130 grand on that soup factory. But yeah, so I'll get these over to the soup factory, get them unloaded, get that running, get them back over here, finish the field off, and I'll see you when that's all done. See you shortly. All right, so that carrot contract is all done. Thank God. Um, I say that, but to be honest, I don't actually mind doing them. Um, just gets gets me playing a bit of bit of the game rather than worrying about sort of recording and stuff. So yeah, it's um, they're not actually too bad. I, I probably will do others if they crop up, especially to get the to get some of the other crops as well um, put into that soup factory. I think that's going to be a good money earner, so yeah. Um, got a few bits to do. I need to move these. I've got these chicks in the in the transport crates. I'm just going to take them over to the the pens that we placed. Because um, the health on the chickens has actually gone down by 2%, I think. Um, yeah, 98%. I think that's because it's it's overcrowded. So I've sold the male ones. Uh, they were worth nothing because the chicks aren't aren't worth anything. Um, so I've sold the male ones because we've got no use for those. They won't produce eggs. So the female chicks, um, I've still got three left in here. So we've got... Uh, We've got eight in each crate so we've got 16 of them there and i'll come and grab two more and we'll leave one chicken oh they uh they're having a look um yeah we'll we'll leave the original uh chick and duckling in in this pen so this pen will still be full so we need to get these two crates over and get them get them into the pen and then get a bit of feed in there for them as well. Um, the other thing I want to do is place a pressure washer down. It's about time, I think, and get some get all this equipment cleaned up. Um, we've got even though we place that soup factory, we've got three hundred and fifty four thousand still. So. Yeah, money's money's not doing too bad. I did I did forget to say actually I did do the usual build forty one bailing contract off camera. Um, oddly though, it as soon as you've done it, the grass has regrown and there's another contract. Literally as soon as you complete it. So um, that's probably a glitch on the map, but. I'll take it because it's earning us some good money. Um, they are the only contracts we've got at the moment. I have accepted a ploughing contract on the field that we just harvested the carrots on. So the fence is over there ploughing, ploughing away on that field. So that's another 26, nearly 26 and a half grand. Um, yeah. So the... I'm probably going to end up doing, I might do a couple of the smaller bailing contracts, um, maybe field one and do a couple of hay ones. I think we haven't done any hay ones for a while. Obviously they don't earn as much, but still get, still get a bit of money for them. Yeah. It's just, uh, something different. Um, so yeah, we'll get these chicks moved. So you can just pick these crates up. Got a few eggs there. So I did mention this in my new series on Kalinovka. Um, I had some help. I want to say thank you to Brad James, who gave me a, a lot of help PC-wise. For, um, a few different things but 
mainly the bullet bill crop textures. So I've installed those on this map now. Right, I'll just put that there. I'll just jump over and show you the the field as they are in the first growth stage. So this is the uh, canola. That's the first couple of growth stages. Or f first growth stage really. And then the this is the barley. Is it barley? Yeah, barley. Um, already you can see a difference there. They look really, really good. And then we've got the oat field over there. As I wash all this stuff off when we've placed the pressure washer, I'll um, we'll get it all put away. Yeah, the oats, the oats won't show up yet because um, we planted them this month, didn't we? So, yeah. So, yeah, big thank you to him. He's, he's quite a lot of um, quite a lot of help with a few different things. So. As, I've, as I mentioned in the first episode, I am new to PC, so, or fairly new anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm not particularly great with that sort of stuff, but learning a thing or two of, as I go. Gonna leave all the Christmas decorations up. Um, obviously, real life, that's all done with and finished now, I think. Thank God, but in game, I think I'll leave it and take them down in January just to add a bit of decoration. Right, so I'm just going to put the triggers back on. So I know where I'm putting these. Why is that only one? Oh, that's the original one, isn't it? Um, oh well, that's all right. We'll just leave. We'll leave him or her in there. It's getting confused with the um with the ages then. So that one was two months. For that yeah, as I say, that's the original one. So I think we'll just leave those crates there for now. Sorry about my um got a bit of a croaky voice today of um full blown cold mode cold and a bit of a cough so yeah a bit uh, bit bunged up a bit croaky but... right so that's those um we'll just go and get the other two Actually, I'll, I'll get the other two a bit later. Just go and get these chicks some feed. I think we'll top up the greenhouse as well. In fact, solid fertilizer there for some reason. Um, no, I'm not going to be able to pick that up, am I? So that's still half a bag there. Come and grab that with a forklift in a minute. Because this is the the bigger trailer, I'll just park this up, and then we'll go back and get the smaller trailer to get the get the wheat, and then um, 
uh, and then that can stay that can stay by the chickens for now we're not we're not going to need the trailers I don't think for a while now it's not going to be any harvesting coming up for a good few months so So the the bit of a sort of time lapse at the beginning with the carrot carrot field that was um, that was my first sort of attempt at a bit of a cinematic. Um, I know it wasn't wasn't brilliant, but as I say, it was my first attempt. So I'm hoping to try and try and do more of those. Um, as I said before, it just it just means I can do more more jobs in one sort of one go, if you like. So, um, yeah, I think it just make it a little bit better for sort of visually people to see a few more jobs being done in one go. We are getting. To the point now where over winter there's not going to be a lot to do so yeah we're um last episode in this one there's um it's just a few sort of farmyard bits really being done but i do still want to i haven't forgotten that i've got that forestry plot um, and the idea of that was to, to clear clear the trees and then obviously use that as a as a placeable sort of area, um, which I'm still intending to do. So probably next month I might start a bit of forestry. But I, d I just wanted to get that soup factory into um, to get that running, and obviously have somewhere to put the carrots. So, This doesn't take much either by the looks of it. In fact it's probably the same as as the one in the in the yard. We'll just leave this trailer here. I do like the, the realism of the of the manual attach mod. But uh, it can get a little bit annoying sometimes. <laughs> Just um, having to get out and attach and reattach everything every five minutes. But yeah, I prefer it because of the realism. So put up with the good and the bad. Right, so here. What's he getting on? It says 40% but yeah it's not 40% done yet and um, I always find that when you do the, the headlands on any any contract it it normally says you've done quite a lot of the contract and then and then the percentage slows down as you as you carry on and um, that's just the way it is I suppose uh, right, we need the telehandler. Just do the water while I'm here. You see, this is what I mean with the manual attach now. Can't get round that side, so I've got to go all the way around here. Just to attach it. Just to be able to unload the water. Ooh, that's took all of that. 
Um, oh yeah, that's the other one. The top the uh, biogas up with the with the silage as well. I did check the um, the price that we got for the methane and the electric, um, and in total in October, I think it was thirty four thousand, and it's used about not even a third of the silage we originally put in so i think that will that will make more in the long run than it would actually sell in the silage that's all good um so yeah let's just check this uh all together we got 134,000 thereabouts um liters of carrots left over so yeah, I don't know what I was panicking about at near the end of the end of the contract, but so we've got a lot of carrots in there. So I mean, three hundred carrots to one hundred soup. Um, I'm not going to do the maths, but divide one hundred and forty or one hundred and thirty-four by three. So you're looking at what forty, forty-five possibly 45,000 litres. Is that right? 45,000 litres of carrots soup. I might be completely wrong of that, uh, on that. I did just do that off the top of my head. So it is probably completely wrong. Um, yeah, so the, the water... Yeah, I won't bother going to top the tanker up just yet. Um, get that solid fertilizer in the and the seeds topped up and just disconnect from here hoping the uh the fence gets finished pretty quick because i do want to go and start one of those bailing contracts I think we'll end the episode on that. Um, right, I'm going to get a bag of seed. Actually, I'll get a, I'll get a bag of seed and a bag of fertilizer. And then we'll pick up that half bag of uh, fertilizer that's by the field. That was the other thing. I'm not. I've decided I'm probably not going to update the map now. Um, when the when the update does come out, mainly because I've already got I've got the bullet build crop textures now, which is one of the main things I wanted. Um, but also the issues with the feed uh, with the animals. As far as I know, there's there's no issues with the sheep or the cows on the farm in this version. So, if we want to do sheep or cows, then I think we should be fine using these two that are on this version. So, yeah, and there, there wasn't really anything else. I'm get back seed as well, wasn't I? Um, there wasn't really anything else on the mod hub version that that I won or that I was particularly keen on on doing. So yeah, I think that'll be the plan. Um, not to update, and then we can we can go ahead and get some get some more animals on the farm. Still getting the hang of doing stuff in cab. And if you notice, I'm mainly only doing it in the telehandler. Um, spatial awareness thing, really, I suppose, with... Say, if I was in the fent on the plough, I just I just can't get the, the angles right. Um, you know, sort of where, where you need to be with the tool. Just need a bit, a bit more practice, I think. I 
mean, I need a bit more practice on this, really. But, yeah. I think we'll try and pick up the third bag, the, the other bag of fertiliser at the same time. Might be a disaster, but it might go all right. You never know. Um, we will see. So I think what I will do is, as I say, I'm gonna I'm gonna place a, a pressure washer down of some sort, and then I think um, see these forks as well. They're um, I don't know what they're called, but they they're not fixed in place. So when you've got them at a certain angle, they sort of dangle doesn't help matters. I think I must have to them up they're sort of free hanging. Yeah. Oh, that's good of it. Just uh, stood itself up again. Big bag physics. There we go. Can I get it? Probably not. Right. But it will stand up again. Thank you very much. Now, that looked like it was dead on. Yeah. There we go. Right, tilt them back. <sighs> So yeah, I think I'll um, I'm gonna wait until December when we're when we're doing a bit of forestry, um, because we've got the that wasn't the full bag of seed, was it? Can't have been. Oh, I bet there was barely anything in that. Oh well, they're they're topped up enough for now. So. Right, just leave the telehandler here. Um, yeah, we want, when we do the forestry, we're going to need a bit of money for leasing whatever forestry equipment we're going to want. Um, right, let's place down a much needed pressure washer. So I'm thinking, the one I'm thinking of hope I've got it installed still. Um, yes, there we go. Nice little car, Karsha one. Thousand pound. If we... I want it really against the wall, so... I'm going to go for free placement. Just because can't see it impacting anything at all so yeah all our sort of machine maintenance stuff is here we've got the fuel tank got the pressure washer and then we've got the workshop just bring everything over one by one give it a wash down and make everything look a lot better right so the Plowing contract is 54% complete, according to that little screen at the top. So, I think I'll just do a bit of a jump cut to when we've completed that, because we're going to need the fence for the mowers. Um, as I say, I'm going to take on field one. And 25, wasn't it? In fact, 25. So this was the other thing I was looking at. Those fields that I said I wanted to buy at some point. That is field 25 and 24. So if I click on that, yeah, so we haven't done any 
any contracts for Caroline at all. So the more contracts we do for her, the cheaper the the price of the field's going to be. So it will be a good idea to to do that bailing contract on 25. And if 24 comes up, then do that as well. Um, so yeah, we'll accept that one. So that's two hay contracts that we're we're gonna do. Yeah, both hay. Uh, yeah, so actually they're going to the same sell point as well, so we could probably get them done and then do all the, the, deliv the delivering. But, but yeah, I'll uh, jump cut to the to when the plough's finished and I'll probably be all set up with the mower. And I just might finish with a little bit of a time lapse getting those done. Or a bit more talking maybe. I don't know yet, but yeah. All right, I'll uh, see you in a few seconds. Um, all the little bits done. The ploughing contract is completed. Uh, we've got this first contract field mode. It's a bit odd because the, the mower let me go all the way around to the edge all the way around the field but uh sorry turn off what are we doing? Right. yeah the the mower let me go all the way around the field to the edge but um the tedder has missed bits so I think that's because it's a contract field, you can't always get every bit. Um, so yeah, it's missed a bit, especially at the top, the top bit there. It's not really any point using the follow me mod on, on this one because it's a quite a small field. So everything will just get jammed up. I mean that that system is perfect for field 41 and, and bigger fields but yeah um but while the plowing contract was being finished we um we got the the last two chicks moved over to the over to the other chicken pen and then um topped up the silage at the biogas so I've filled that right up again that's I think there's four bales left over there but I think we'll just keep doing silage contracts and um, using all the leftover at the BGA I think that'll work pretty well keep that topped up so yeah just cracking on with these two contracts now did wash a couple of little bits of kit off, wash the uh, four before off. In fact, I'll show you because you've never actually seen it clean. There we go, look at that. Loads better. Nice and clean in the trailer. And then I also washed off the telehandler. So yes, it does have white wheels and it is a yellow machine. <laughs> Looks brand new, that. So I think the plan will be to start... Um, once we start paying bits and pieces off, it will be it will probably be the Fent, first of all. Because that is the most, most used bit of kit that we've got. So I think it would be beneficial to, uh, to get that paid off, because... That will also have the highest uh, vehicle costs. So if we can get that paid off, then um, yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be a lot less on vehicle costs and stuff as we're using it the most. So I think as I'm windrowing this round the round the headland, the tedder 
is going to carry on going when when it's doing it up and down so it will probably cut into the nice windrow that I've just made so I think what I'm going to do is just park this up and then just bail that, that bit round the outside while well, we can the mower's nearly finished so we'll get that over to build one where the other contract is get that started on that one Yeah, so you don't have access to this land, but luckily it is it is um it is picking the uh, picking the swath up. So as I've said before, you you always want to get as much as you can on the contract fields mode, so that so that you can so that you get as much as possible left over. Really, you want to make the most of the contract. But yeah, you can just see that strip right near the right near the edge. It just wouldn't pick, wouldn't get that. So, but not to worry. All right, so that's the fence finished. So we'll get that sent over the other contract started and crack on with them so yeah I think I'll leave it here for this episode um, the next episode I'm pretty sure our two pastures are ready to harvest as well yeah so they're only, they're only at the first growth stage at uh, harvest stage but they're not going to grow anymore because of the time of year so I think we'll just make the most of it and cut those those two fields as well. So we'll probably do that in the next episode. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll get these two contracts finished. Might possibly pick up another one. Do that before the next episode as well. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, I hope you're still enjoying the the series. Um, I, if you don't know already, I have got another series going now. The first episode came out on Thursday uh, on a map called Kalanovka. So feel free to go and check that out as well. Um, but yeah, if you did like the video, then please hit the like button. And if you don't already subscribe, please consider subscribing as it does help the channel. And any help and feedback and comments, likes, etc. will be much appreciated. So thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.